Legio is going to kick it from midfield with his team down one. Legio puts it up and he gets it. A fist pump from Legio after his biggest kick of the season. Maybe his career as he knocks home a 55 yarder to put the Bombers on top by two. No. And he will have it further back at the five. Running around, trying to get free. Does for a moment, loses the ball. Enoch Penny Laye takes it in for the Argo touchdown to put this one away. The rookie from McMaster had a gift waiting for him as Alfred tried to make something happen again, and he lost the football. Still almost seven minutes to play. Logan takes it cleanly, finds some space on the far side, stays on his feet, and here he goes. Peyton Logan got to beat the kicker. Flips off, can't stop him, and Logan's gone. 30, 20, 10, all the way home. Touchdown, Calgary. Peyton Logan goes the distance in spectacular fashion. What a response. You know, and Calgary has held an advantage in special teams throughout this game. You think about the Jalen Philpott kickoff return early that they really kind of set the tone in this one. Peyton Logan with a monster grabbing back of the momentum here for the Calgary Stampeders. And we are underway in Vancouver. Janarian Grant takes it just inside his own 15. Near side of the field and an opportunity for some fireworks early. Grant down to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, and he's going to take it all the way home to start the football game. Get out of here. Janarian Grant untouched for 97 and a touchdown. The quarterbacks haven't even entered the field yet. And we've got six on the board. What a run. And this is blocking down the field as well. Wide side return. And the speed of Janarian Grant down the sideline catches that cover team for the BC Lions. Setting their alarm a little late. It's game time. Uh, if it's a uh, heavyweight battle, the first blow has just been dealt in the opening wow. round. And thanks, Sarah, for her great work with the CFL over the years. The league loves her, no doubt about it. Here's Mario Alford. This could change things. Mario Alford to midfield, down to the 15th. Race is on. He's going to take it to the 30, the 15, and he's all the way gone. What a start for the Riders. No flags on the field, and Mario Alfer takes it all the way. That's how quickly you grab momentum in Canadian football, and he takes off. He's got another speed that he displays at the top of this run, around the edge, through the hole, and now watch outrunning the angles. Now, Legio is probably not going to catch him but i'm talking about the rest of that cover team no shot couldn't make up ground he's got another speed and that's grabbing momentum out of the second halftime break brett lawther gets week three underway with a shorter kick and worthy coming in at the 22. chandler worthy on the run good return still going could be gone there's a start the montreal alouettes need as Chandler Worthy takes it into the end zone on the first play of the game. As he catches this ball, finds a seam, reads the block, gets outside Terrell Richards, who had the nice seal inside. Nice cut back, and then it's just using his speed to get to the house. Terrific job by Chandler Worthy, the Montreal special teams unit. No question the Alouettes have been feeling some heat after not just the losses, the way those losses happen. And Chandler Worthy has Montreal out to a 7-0 lead in the first minute of this football game. This is the biggest one to make it a four-point lead. Yeah. That's blocked. Blocked. The Bombers on the chase. Brandon Alexander has it. And it remains a one-point lead, Argo. Nick Hallett got in for the biggest block of his life. And Winnipeg is still very much alive. For some reason, and we don't expect him to, but if for some reason he was to stumble, you've got a future Hall of Famer sitting there on the sideline. Yeah. Which comes back around to the discussion that so many people had. Here goes Mario Alford on the far side of the field all the way up to the 40. I don't see a flag as he takes it back inside at the 40. Tripped up. Stay on his feet. 
He's still going. Can he get a block? He will. Down to the 20, to the 10. All the way home for Mario Alford. And one of the best things that Jeremy O'Day has done this year was to bring in Mario Alford to give that return game a lift. And boy, has he ever. And, you know, what I love about this run more than anything is this game is over. But he didn't quit. 104 yards for Mario Alford. Grant. Far side of the field, looking for a little bit of room. He's got it, stays on his feet, and he'll take it down to midfield. Janarian Grant on the near side. He'll take it down inside the 40, gets around the top. Grant's going to take it to the 20, to the 10. He's done it again. Not a flag in sight. Janarian Grant takes it to the house. He did it back in July against the Lions, and he's done it again. You need one block on the outside to get the corner. He's got outside of containment there on the cover team. Then the good cutback. And now it's one-on-one -on -one with Flintoff. I like Janarian Grant's chances in that matchup. Nothing against Flintoff, <laughs> but most players in the league aren't going to track down that guy. His third return touchdown against the Lions this season. Certainly nothing against Flintoff, but Janarian Grant beat 11 other guys. Academic, if he makes it, Winnipeg will take the lead. Game and it's not over yet. 45 seconds on the clock.